don't know why I'm looking so red or whatnot. I think it's like a light issue or something like that. Let me. There we go. What's good, everybody? It's your boy Philly Flexer back in the building again today. And today or whatnot, we doing gigoots. Uh, why? Uh, when when an anime goes horribly wrong. When anime goes horribly wrong. That's the name of the title of the video. I don't know which anime he's talking about in this instance or whatnot, but uh, hopefully we'll get some light shedding on that or whatnot, and, and we'll see what's going on. Now, when it comes to like anime going horribly wrong, the one thing I can think about is um, uh, Promise Neverland. They hold the hell out of that anime from the manga. Uh, Bleach just recently uh, finished up their live action. Their, their, I'm not live action, but their anime. And come to find out, because I never read the Bleach manga, but come to find out, they completely changed the ending of it. Or what now, from the manga to the, the anime. And a lot of people was like, oh, I'm glad this happened. And a lot of people was like, no, I'm not glad this happened or whatnot. So, if you read the Bleach manga, uh, let me know your thoughts below or whatnot. All that right there, all that good stuff or whatnot. But, um, anyway, we're going to go ahead and hop into this or whatnot and see what's going on with this anime that went wrong. And... Once again, let's get some light shed up on this or whatnot, man. Anyways, make sure y'all like, subscribe, all that good stuff right there. And uh, let's hop into this. But really, how do I deal with this? Use the Jigen Ryu Kendo technique. <laughs> what is the worst anime? ever made. Now some of you newer fans may scroll down to the lowest rated anime on my anime list and point out some shows that have gone down in infamy that have been clowned on by the entire anime community yeah. like Mars of Destruction mm -hmm. or Scale to Heaven or mm -hmm. Seven Deadly Sins. <laughs> but go f Okay, Seven Deadly Sins people just hated that animation. It wasn't the anime. Further back, and a handful of you may remember that years ago, one anime rose up the ranks to gain an almost legendary status. Like the planets had aligned in all the wrong ways to create a stinker so bad, so foul. Christopher Nolan's about to make a three-hour biopic on how bad this bombed. Wow. Why can I say that? This was a car crash that derailed a train that smashed into a nuclear power plant that caused a fallout that could rival Chernobyl. This garnered the reputation of being the worst anime ever made. A show so bad it looped around to become a masterpiece. So in the current generation of Twitter people calling Demon Slayer mid or threatening to commit acts of violence over a single frame of dodgy looking CG in Attack on Titan, I thought it was time I experienced the show myself so we can all be reminded just how bad bad can be. This is the legend of Garzi's Wing. I've never heard of this show. Never in my life. So we're going to see if this Grandma, is actually like the worst thing ever. On such a hot day? But before we get into this forgotten masterpiece of a stinker, hot a word from our sponsor, day. Reverse 1999. Reverse 1999 is a 20th century strategic RPG developed by Blue Pock Games. Set to launch on mobile and PC platforms on October 26th. Pre-register now to get your free 5-star character. In this game, you'll take a trip back to the 20th century. And if you didn't hear me before, the game launches globally October 26th. And by pre-registering, you get a start a countdown to the past and get a free 5-star character that's speaks in a cute French accent. The nature of divination is deduction based on reality. It's the last day of the year 1999, and the flow of time has started to become unstable in a world where natural-born spellcasters exist called Arcanists. History starts flying backwards during a catastrophic phenomenon known as the Storm. As the timekeeper named Vertin, it's your job to seek the truth about this storm and the mysterious circumstances surrounding it before the turn of the new millennium. Wibbly-wobbly, timey-wimey stuff? Sounds pretty epic, right? Well, Blue Pot Games have managed to give such a large story spanning centuries in a gorgeous little package. In order to make you feel like you're traveling through history, we get a blend of various retro art styles from pop art to classical oil paintings. But that only scratches the surface. That diverse presentation also carries over to the voice acting with a diverse cast of actors with British, Italian, French, and other accents. Pair these with an emotionally gripping story and what you're left with is a game that fills me with nothing but excitement. Did I mention you can summon a UFO that abducted a cow? So. What are you waiting for? Pre-register today to get your free waifu by clicking that link in the description and make sure you follow Reverse1999 on all their social channels while you're down there. Thank you very much to Reverse1999 for sponsoring us today. And with that said, 
Back to Garzy's Wing. Here are your shoes, sir. Thank you. Garzy's Wing is a three episode OVA from 1996. But to garner mm. such a reputation like the worst anime ever made, the show must have done something pretty bad to leave such a deep impression on so many I'm, people. I'm just saying, it had to be horrible. in this anime? What sin must this show have committed to build such a stat? I can never escape, can I? The story follows our protagonist, a Japanese man going by the name. You can't help it. If it's an Isaka, it's either gonna be loved or hate. Loved or hated. Name of Chris, paving the way as the template for future isekai protagonists. A guy of indomitable strength and power, a true main character forgotten in the annuals of time. A man of true charisma and unmatched riz. Hey Chris! Hi! You sure look good for someone preparing for an exam. You certainly got sexy. We join Chris you as he's getting- Boy, I can, the, the dialogue in this was already trash. You certainly got sexy. Scolded by a female friend for- some reason. But Chris has got no time for this, because he's going home to attend his class reunion pool party. I will come back after I attend the class reunion pool party. But on his way home, his necklace starts Whoa. vibrating and has a strange reaction to a shrine before he is whisked away by a trans-dimensional space duck and... Wait, hold on a sec. Yeah, that's definitely a real sentence. I just Trans-dimensional... Trans... This... Duck and... Wait, hold on a sec. Yeah, that's... Trans-dimensional space duck. Okay, I, I'm, I'm already seeing the patterns here with this show. Clearly, Gazi's wing was truly ahead of its time, wasting no screen time in isekai its protagonist, thrusting him headfirst into a fantasy world, naked, in a violent battle where a group of rebels are revolting against their kingdom, at war against being slaves. That, that sounds like your regular isekai right there. I ain't gonna say your regular isekai, but it, it just sounds like, like the template for an isekai. So... I mean, it, it, it was ahead of its time. Get killed, you too! Yes, this may be a forgotten show from 1996, but no matter what time period of history we're in, if there are three things that are certain in life, it's death, taxes, and isekai anime having slavery. But hold on, guys, because this Facts. time our protagonist is here to end slavery rather than partake in it. Because apparently yeah. he is meant to be a holy <laughs> warrior, prophesized to turn the tides of war that the rebels immediately wreck. That sounds me of the anime, uh... Um, reincarnated. It was like reincarnated in a godless world. I think the name of it or what that. What he do? Like, uh, he's coming back to save to save everybody. But like, hush, y'all. He's uh, he has to make everybody believe in God. Recognize. Oh my gosh, that skill! Is he the holy warrior? That's, that's I hope that's not the dialogue. That's ridiculous. Jesus Christ, that's Jason Bourne. That skill. See, even though he's just an ordinary guy, Chris tries to live up to become the holy warrior they say he is. He may have unwillingly be put into a war he knew nothing about, but seeing this group of truly oppressed people, used and abused slaves, having to fight for dear life every day just to survive while torn away from their friends, families, and loved ones, Chris, being the good guy that he is, quickly empathizes with the struggles they are going through. Oh, I'm I'm sorry. Please stop crying, huh? If you didn't fly out, I would still be in Kastanga Hill, playing with my friends and Grandma Moai. <laughs> I could also have attended my high school class reunion. I... I really hope that's not the dialogue. Really do. 
Why are my dogs? Sit down somewhere. Sit down. I don't know why my dogs are tripping. But like Batman and the Joker, Guts and Griffith, Good Food Takes and Me, every good protagonist good is an equally great antagonist. And luckily, Garzi's wing provides just that, with the threatening, the intimidating, the sinister, uh, 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 man. Batwoman! A general seen here making his epic entrance, okay. working with the king to prevent the rebellion. Did what? that horse just commit die to prevent? What just happened with that horse? Epic entrance. Working with the king to prevent the rebellion. Did that horse just commit die? To prevent the rebellion and Chris from succeeding at all costs. And it's up to Chris to use his intelligence correctly. Using his advanced knowledge from the modern world to outthink, outsmart his opponents. Using the tools he has available in innovative ways to save the tribe from their fate thanks to his superior intellect. Stop it! It will blow up! Don't bother me! Oh! Are you covering that in Gata powder? Why, yes, I'm trying to. Doesn't work. So, hey, this looks like a simple isekai where a normal guy gets transported to another world, becomes some legendary hero, I saves hope the world. That, I've seen I that. hope that show, this show is not this bad as he's making it seems. Because it's, it's horrible. So far, this is horrible. Or nothing new here. Wrong. Because the thing is, when the transdimensional space dark transported him over... Because it's trying to make... I don't know if it's trying to make it seem like it's a comedy, but it's not. It's... it's like, I would get halfway through one of these episodes and be like, the, what the hell are you talking about? It also left a copy of his real body in his original world. And thanks to his necklace having some kind of telepathic link. So waking up with an aching body and bruises everywhere, Chris has a hard job explaining to himself. I have bruised all over my body because I had to fight naked. <laughs> exactly what kind of situation he's in right now. That's crazy. There's more going on. Even dinosaurs are here. And they use bows and arrows. My sword is unbelievably dull. Fucking Chris, man. You're going to kill That's yourself crazy. and me. Many credit the popularization of the modern isekai genre to Sword Art Online with the gimmick of being stuck in a game where if, if you die, die in the game, game you die, die in real life. life. But now I can see that Garzi's wing was actually the true progenitor of this, as the characters themselves realize just how high the stakes are. I'm really are. trying to remember who, who had the shoes with the wings on it. We are still one person. We die together? Probably. No, it can't be true. I'm, I'm not, not joking. joking. And the worst thing about this is, is that this you'd be like, I can't go to the this here. You're like you, you like go to like a um, like like us going to like a party or not being able to make it to a certain functional event. Like we'll equivalent to like the trauma of some other shit that people had in the past, and that's why I think this is so stupid because you got present this dude who's just trying to make it to this pool party, and then. His alternate ego, who's in another world, is trying to end fucking slavery. Come on now. Out of Chris's book, from least to most important, we have eating, not dying, ending slavery, class reunion pool party. Are you in danger now? Chris, I have no choice but to see my friends. Now, I've been hearing some slanderous Ridiculous. claims Garzi's that the English dub Garzi's voice acting Garzi's is some of the worst Garzi's that's ever Garzi's been heard. Garzi's and Garzi's I take Garzi's this personally. Way. What are Doman and the other people doing? They're the Suicide Squad! They're sure, the Suicide Squad! Bump like that! They have caps lock on, word emphasis is all over the place, but are you telling me a bad dub can have voice actors that can deliver the line so perfectly every single time? <laughs> A name so powerful it can invoke enough different emotions from our protagonist to rival any Oscar worthy performance. Confusion. Yamato Takeru no Mikoto. What? Desperation. Takara no Mano no Mikoto. Hold on, let's get it again. So powerful it can invoke enough different emotions from our protagonist to rival any Oscar worthy performance. Confusion. Yamato Takeru no Mikoto. What? Takeru no Mano no Mikoto. I'm saying that so horribly. Despair. Ah, damn you, Yamato Takeru no Mikoto! What is this legendary? Yeah, that Takeru is a no hard name to what say. Is something relevant to. That's a hard name to say. Well, I don't. I don't know. They never explain why I keep saying it. That Ooh. makes sense. And honestly, how else is such Shakespearean level writing meant to be delivered? Like the line. He's just a human. <laughs> Humans are just human. Humans are just human. <laughs> <laughs> Could this be referring to mankind struggle against themselves? That no matter how much we struggle, humans are just humans. Please give me a damn shirt with that upon it. Humans are just humans. 
or fight against it, there is no going against our own nature. Clearly, this line was so influential, it laid the foundation for the Shiro Emiya school of philosophy. It's what we call a drug in my world. If you taste it or smoke it, you get happy and do crazy things. <laughs> she definitely hits the blood. Look at the fuck? Yeah, she definitely smoking that pet. Right now. Not also forgetting that one very important aspect when it comes to anime is appeal. In order to be successful, you can increase your chances by appealing to as wide of an audience as you can, no matter the age range. And Gazi's wing did something truly revolutionary by speaking in a language that could be understood by toddlers who have yet to achieve object permanence. It is most effective to place a Duraga roll at Gabu Juju. If you bar off Duraga roll, we are entering Gabu Juju. <laughs> <laughs> we are entering Gabu Juju. After Rago Roll, we are entering Gabu Juju. <laughs> you may be looking at clips of this and thinking, Giga, this is an old anime. Why would I want to go back and watch something that looks so old? And, you know, I understand the sentiment. Uh, some, some of the old enemies here. You get to some see of the old enemies here. You need to go back and check them out. With new tools, new t Like, I've like I, I recently been going through Car Capture Sakura. Um, and because I, I, I wouldn't see, I saw the RDZ video or whatnot. They did Anime House, and uh, they was like, Core Captain Soccer, or what is the OG over at Sailor Moon? And I was like, okay, I've never watched that, so let me check it out. It's still a damn pretty good show talent in general anime has never looked better but even with all these developments there are still many that argue that hand-drawn cell animation can look just as good and after seeing gazi's wing i'm inclined to agree sure we may have our demon slayers or chainsaw mans now but what i didn't realize is that action animation may have already peaked 30 years ago <laughs> oh! what the fuck this was the that modern animators have been chasing all along Now you may be wondering what that nigga there like skip he, oh he skipped the frames and whatnot nobody was moved. Now you may be wondering what kind of person would be behind such a project. Perhaps some random nobody that never worked on anime again. Someone who had no knowledge of the industry. Oh, Close, he's good. Because this was actually the brainchild of Yoshiyuki Tomino, the mastermind behind such other anime projects like Mobile Suit Gundam. I must somehow make sense of our. I'm just gonna say, like, you gotta have some L's to take some W's. You gotta, like, experiment with stuff to be like, okay, how can this work? You gotta take some L's for some W's. And that's what he did. This was his biggest L before he made a W. Convoluted situation. Gazi's wing is, in short, a masterpiece of garbage. There may be anime that are worse looking, there may be anime that are technically lower rated, but no other show has quite come together in the completely wrong ways to result in such an entertainingly horrible product. We've had some horrible stinkers in the modern day, but time won't forget the mythical adventures of Japanese man Chris and the legend that is Gazi's Wing. Whatever the hell Gazi's Wing was, I don't know if that was ever what was that? Was that ever explained? What the fuck was half the plot of the show in the end? Am I even saying that correctly? Did I ever explain it? Will I ever get explained it? Just go to the pad in the way. And then he hit it with the old school inch outro. Okay. So you get you know, like Chris. That local re uh, reunion pool party. Oh my god. No, 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 man. That that is a W. That's a W or whatnot. This man here does not miss when it comes to anime content and all that good stuff right there.
that's why I'm glad I, I already watched this video so I can announce that next week I will be coming out with my own video similar to this and whatnot where I will be diving into some of the anime I watched this year um I wanted to make a video or whatnot to where I could um explain the anime that I watch and how I watch it and what I think about it and whatnot because I didn't want to just be the person who just talks about anime and you be like Philly well, what anime do you watch or what anime Bob Mr. I watch a lot of anime and I'm just not talking about your mainstream ones your JJK's your Naruto's Bob Mr. I watch a lot of anime so uh I'm going to make that video next week or whatnot. Well, I'm this week it'll be coming out next week, probably uh, Monday of next week. And I hope y'all enjoy that video right there or whatnot. But uh, this video right here was crazy because you can some of these '90s animes, '80s animes, '70s animes. If you go back and watch them, they were trash or whatnot. But that one right there, even the whole English dub acting was horrible or whatnot. I don't think I've ever seen anything that bad in my life or whatnot. So I hope I, I number one, I'm never going to watch that. But number two, I hope I never see an anime that bad in my life. Because we got too many mangas out there to be adapted to anime. And if we're wasting our time on stuff like this this year, then... We, we we could be spending that time sorry, excuse me we could be spending that time on good shows so let's focus on the good mangas the good shows and whatnot also here whatnot and let's just have fun with that anyway since your boy Philly Flex I start for all the burping at the end of the video uh I don't know nigga head gas right here deuces <laughs>